welcome in this lecture we would understand about the ntsc examination now this is a very introduction lecture to explain you about the ntsc examination the pattern what you should keep into mind while preparing so this ntsc exam is conducted by ncrt in your class 10th you have 200 questions that are being asked these 200 questions that are being asked are spread over four hours so two hours for each section you have mat and sat as two sections sat has 100 questions and mat has 100 questions mat is your mental ability section and sat is your scholastic aptitude so this is scholastic aptitude again includes three sections which is maths science and social studies under maths you would have around 20 questions for science and social studies you would have 40 each accounting to 100 questions this exam is conducted into sta two stages stage one and stage two those students who are appearing in india would be appearing for stage one around 10 lakh candidates appear for this exam of which 4000 qualify for stage two examination those appearing from abroad would directly appear for stage two for stage one you do not have any negative marking that's there but you do have negative marking for your stage two we have a final selection of around thousand candidates that take place for this examination who are giving given a scholarship for their 11 12 bachelor's masters and have further higher studies uh, previously there used to be interview interview is no more again Last till last year you used to have a LCT paper that was language comprehension which is no more for this year. Now what you need to take into account for MAT and SET. We have covered uh, separate classes for these two MAT and SET where we have tried to explain the important expected questions, the probable areas that you need to practice, you need to work around. Uh, we have the playlist and the practice areas where you can go and practice as much as you can. Coming on to SET a very important thing that you need to remember this is sat for the first stage is conducted by the state governments or the state level okay so what happens is you have questions that are part of your state textbooks so state textbooks become very very important especially for your ss or social studies especially the geography the history of the region becomes important so if you get chance go through your state textbooks at least once for your stage one stage two is conducted directly by the ncrt there is those who clear the stage one get the notification from ncrt and they are eligible to sit for a stage two uh, many of the states provide training uh, before your stage two examination as well now stage two you would have fundamentals of 11th and 12th that are asked but for stage one what is recommended is covering the ncrt's thoroughly the conceptual clarity for 9th and 10th so what we recommend is ncrt should be covered from 6th to 10th for both science and social science for mathematics we recommend it for 9th and 10th so that's something that you need to do for must for stage 1 for stage 2 you need to have the very fundamentals of 11th and 12th for math same appears for sciences and uh, a fundamental for social sciences for the SAT, we'll be covering a separate lecture where we'll be talking about the expected questions for SAT. What are the important topics that you must not miss? Which sections you have questions every time that are being asked for your SET examination? So that was a kind of very, very fundamental basic lecture that we started with. Uh, stay tuned for the other two lectures on MAT and SET where we would be talking about the details and the expected probable questions from these sections. Have a very great day ahead.